PlayStation 5 controller. I got a PlayStation 5. I don't even touch that damn thing. <laughs> Suck for them. Oh, hey there. I didn't know you was coming by so soon. My apologies. I play my PlayStation 5 all the time. So just ignore that if you're currently searching for one. Welcome back to the arcade. Today we're going to be watching some of the best Black Friday gaming deals that you should not be missing right now. I was going to be doing this anyway by myself because what I do, I look at gaming crap all day. So without further ado, lick that like button, subscribe to the channel. We got that wallet. Let's go. Let's get started off first and talk about Ooh, console let's deals. talk about yes, the PlayStation 5. Can I get a PS5? Can I get an Xbox Series X? Seems like the answer is still no. These no chance. Come by. There's shortages everywhere. Scalpers are still gobbling this thing up. So the best thing you could do is follow a bunch of Twitter deal accounts and keep your notifications. It sounds like a nightmare. The best advice we can give you. On the slider side, if you have somebody in your family, if I was able to get my hands on one, I want hundred percent. We just give one away. Easy to come by, and those usually come in at around three hundred. Who wants an Xbox? And there's some Nintendo Switch stuff. You can get a Nintendo Ooh. Switch with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for three hundred, and a Nintendo Switch. Is that the OLED one? New Horizons Edition for three hundred bucks. Deals this year for consoles. It's really not much to be honest. But keep your eyes peeled. Every once in a while, a crazy doorbuster or a thing like that will pop up. Now let's talk controllers. I remember having an extra controller lying around Gang, is bro. a good thing. Whether you just like to have one or two on deck for when one breaks, or if you like to have people over for a game night, this is a good no, time none to of that. Some stuff up. Every I just like having one in case I break one. On controllers, uh, but some of the better ones we've seen are a DualSense wireless controller bundled with NBA 2K 2021 uh, at PlayStation that? directly for 55 bucks. Xbox wireless controllers are going for 50 bucks. If you're crazy and you're streaming, it's not terrible. You want an Amazon Luna controller? That's 50 bucks. Best Buy does have the Xbox Series X. S and one controller day strike camo edition. So you have all the controllers for sale, but you don't have the damn console for 70 bucks. You're saving 30 bucks. Tragic, and it's bro. Worth noting that Best Buy does Ooh. seem to carry a lot of power A accessories like you know, that one's kind of lit. Controller, the Mario that one's kind of lit and stuff like that. All of them are generally running a discount, so it seems like the big three retailers, Walmart, Best Buy. I'm really liking that black and gold Pikachu one for sure. Running. Next, we got headsets. Now, specifically, these are a good gift for gamer friends where you don't know what else to get them. They might already have a game in the world or you just don't quite- If it ain't Astro, I don't know what to tell you. Get them a nice headset. Thankfully, there are quite a few on sale. If they're on Xbox, the Xbox stereo headset for XS1 and PC. Xbox stereo headset. 50 bucks on Best Buy, that's 10 bucks off. And on Not Amazon, bad. it seems like generally you can get it for 46 or 47 bucks. If you these are the, one, these are the ones I started with. Very good Steel Series Arctis. I touched these in like two years. Look at that. It got dust on them. Amazon, if you can scoop it. Those usually run upwards of like Turtle 170, Beach. 180 bucks. So that might be a good get if you got a player who's a little that bit was like on. Um, that good sound quality. Whenever I was still playing on console and I just started simple, no like, taking gaming quality seriously, quality I thought these was just the like oh. Pro X gaming headset is running 94 95 bucks now down from but uh i had so much Amazon. trouble with also, those damn turtle beaches for razor people the razor barracuda x wireless is also not bad from around 100 i see a couple of gamers sponsored by razor uh and they wear them a lot headsets will link more if we can down in the description when they pop up these are actually and i also will link the best things you can get deals on during this time so yeah good luck have fun and this is a video by the way from gamer ranks i will link them down in the description below please make sure you Go subscribe and show them some love. So the DC gang platform, the Epic Game Store has some good sales. Far Cry 6 for 50 bucks. Can Not bad. Spirits for Pain is amazing. Bucks. I haven't Ryan finished it yet, but it's amazing. Five bucks. I got that downloaded. $42. Got it downloaded. Excellent Hitman 3 for $24. That's not bad at all. 30 bucks and really a bunch more. Now GOG on the other hand has a couple of pre Black Friday deals going on with a couple of days left. GOG. Squeeze it in. You can get Cyberpunk. This um Cyber yeah. bucks. Divinity Original Sin 2. Cyberpunk should be fucking free at this point. You hear me? Oh. Don't get me started. I have a cyberpunk gaming chair over here that I spent like $500 on for a goddamn flop of a game. Do not get me started on cyberpunk. 
definitive in four days. Chernobyl, I hadn't played that yet. I hadn't beat the original one yet. I'm trying to beat it before um Forbidden West comes out in February. But they do go through Black Friday. They have a Leisure Suit Larry collection bundle. Leisure Suit Larry. They have a Nacon collection. I think that's the game Taka wanted me to play. And they also have a really good story game choice driven type bundle. That's $10 Beyond. for a bundle with a bunch of stuff like Beyond Two Souls. Oh my God. I watched Apollo play that the other day. It looks so good for an old game. Then of course, the big one, Steam. Keep an eye out for their next Ooh, sale. Ooh, you know we stay on some Steam. Now, console game deals. Let's start with PlayStation. There's quite a bit. Let's start. What's with coming Xbox. out in December? Mass Effect Legendary Edition for twenty-eight bucks. Spider-Man Miles Morales for thirty bucks. The NHL games on sale for roughly around <laughs> NHL. Bio Mutant is now only going for twenty bucks. I have Bio Mutant downloaded on the PlayStation, and um, I can honestly say, Bio Mutant. It's trash. Talk to me in the comments if you disagree. The action. I mean, overall, they had a real good base of a video game that they had going. But when you play it, there's no satisfaction whenever you actually, like, defeat an enemy. It's just like the rumble on the controller is not there. I don't know. Uh, at least on PlayStation 5, um, I, I played it for like an hour and I was like, no. So, trash. Should be free. You can get death loop for 30 bucks and assassin's creed sorry 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 got death loop as well got motion sickness that's death loop for 20 bucks and believe it or not if you can snag it the pretty recent okay probably not the last time i'm going to stop it but guardians of the galaxy is probably the game of the year i'm almost done with it um that's what i do when i'm not recording i'm not playing call of duty and i'm not editing um, to relax my mind, I played Guardians of the Galaxy. It is an excellent game, probably one of the best games um, Ubisoft Square Enix has put out to date. Um, I know on the trailer it kind of looks shitty, but when you actually play it, it's a really, really, really good game, and I couldn't recommend it more. Cyberpunk is trash. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the really underrated game, uh, the PS5 version is running for 30 bucks, as well as Hitman 3 for 20. There's a lot more and we can't cover them all, but on the Amazon side, you can also get a lot. Uh, specifically for PS5 games, Deathloop is running for 25 bucks, Madden NFL 22 for $35, FIFA 22 for $35, Far Cry 6 for $35, fair. pretty awesome Riders Republic for 20 Definitely fair. And on the Xbox side, there's there's also quite a bit starting with Boo. Best Buy specifically Assassin's Creed Who's Valhalla Xbox? for 30 bucks. Again, you can get hey, relax, bro. Guardians of the Galaxy for 30 bucks. Red Dead Redemption 2 is 20 bucks. Loaded. Far Cry 6 we found for $40. Hitman 3 again. There's more on uh, Xbox. Cyberpunk 2077 for $20 if you've been holding off on that. Back for Blood is usually generally running about 40 bucks at Best Buy and Marvel's Avengers is 15 Avengers lit, by the way. Legion Watch Zone's not bad. Now it takes two is gold. You can actually get Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for Xbox for 25 bucks as well as okay. Demon Slayer for 35 bucks. The pretty awesome Sonic Colors Ultimate and the, the launch edition is 20 bucks. That looks Back cool. For Blood at 40 bucks here. The excellent Lost Judgment is $30. Ooh, I haven't played that yet. Hot Wheels, not mad at that. And of course, like I've been saying, many more linked in the description. But let's right. wrap up with Nintendo. Now, a lot let's of the go. main Nintendo games don't always go on sale, but still, there's a bunch of stuff floating around. Specifically with Best Buy, you got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered Ooh, for 20 bucks. Ooh, not mad at that. Brothers U Deluxe for four. Brother, like, you ain't never getting a discount on Mario games. You can go get a Mario game from 10 years ago on Nintendo Switch. And at GameStop, at least, that bitch is still going to be between... Forty and fifty dollars. Trust me. Forty bucks. The excellent Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Go Two is now twenty bucks. Only nice twenty. Drop. Breath of the Wild is running for forty. Hot Zelda. Unleashed is running for thirty. And on the Amazon side, you can get Minecraft for twenty-eight bucks. Animal Crossing New Horizons for usually around mm. fifty. Super. You drunk. Super Mario Maker Two for thirty-nine. Link's Awakening for $39. Zelda and Mario, Mario 50 Odyssey, years later, is still killing the game. There's a lot more. So again, they'll all be linked. But Mario's still $35. Link, after. At least save a couple of bucks on a game here. Jesus we Christ. A lot to go on. So yeah, you definitely did. Out there right now, so, uh, Not too bad. I mean, I'm more of a Cyber Monday guy myself. But hey, to each his own.
but I will be visiting the GameStop today just because I love the brick and mortar store. And who knows how much longer they're actually gonna be around. So I try to enjoy them while you can. Um, so go buy your local GameStop or your local gaming store, vintage gaming store today. Show them some love and see if you find something cool in there. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like more videos like this, please let me know. This is my first time doing something of this nature. Um, it's gonna get better, but um, yeah, talk to me. Cyberpunk is fucking trash.